Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to Kirby's girlfriend, Cody Sanchez. So check out this video. <laughs> I hate the line passive income. There is no such thing as purely passive income. When people say they want passive income, what they're really saying is I don't want to be tied to a business. I don't want somebody else to own my time. I think it is a complete and utter fallacy. The only way that you can get passive income is by doing upfront active work. And I think we should all be honest about that. We actually want to be in the game. We want to be in the arena. You just don't want to do it with people you don't like, doing things you don't want to do, working on stuff that doesn't matter in a place that you don't like. All right, Kirby. Um... This is something we always talk about, even though our channel is called The Passive Money Plan, but we always talk about this. Passive income, passive money requires upfront active work. And even once everything's set in place, there's still going to be times where you need to manage whether you have managers in place managing your ass assets or if you're actively managing it yourself, you're still going to have to manage that uh, to, as well. The only truest form, I guess, that we talk about uh, with passive income is investing in dividend stocks. But even then, you still got to study up on the company, read the earnings reports and stuff like that. There's always work involved. But I loved how she put it. And she does a great job at uh, knowing how to get her point across in messages. So I love this video. Again, her, her articulation is second to none. I mean, I'll put her up there with the biggest scholars in the world. The way she articulate is second to none. If you can't understand what she's saying, you need to go back to school. I mean, <laughs> second grade, you need to go back to school. It's it's amazing. It's amazing to me. And again, this is another person that understands people. And when I when I say the word understand people, meaning that they understand the emotions and mannerisms of people who who want it more I put want in quotes because they just say they want it they don't really want it the only way you can get passive income is to actively do the work up front act like you just said dividend stocks you have to actively do the work up front looking over financials even if it's dividend stock looking at the financials actively looking at uh q I mean the uh, the 10Q reports, the quarterly reports, the earnings call, so you can get an understanding on what the company is. You have to actively do that. Nobody's going to do it for you. Real estate, even if you got managers, you got to actively understand the areas where you're at, understand the dynamics, the dynamic shift, the economic shifts, see what's coming there, see what's leaving, seeing that if it's job sustainable to even charge rents or if the property is worth it because where the paradigm shift may be in certain communities, actively doing the work up front. If you create a business, you actively have to start doing the work. I mean, create a business and then it turns passive. People think that it's, I mean, and even me, I buy revenue, but I actively have to do the work. So when I buy a business, I don't just be like, all right, I bought the business. Business just keep running like it's been doing. I'll be over here on vacation. I'm actively in the grind. I'm actively talking to the managers, understanding the business. I want to know what the janitor does. I saw I'm in the grind with them. I want to know every step of the process. But you actively have to do that. If you don't actively do the work up front, and sometimes in the middle and sometimes at the end, it will never become passive. It'll become a headache. Going along with stocks. If you don't do the right research and then you just say, oh, this stock yielding 15% a year. And then don't realize the company don't even have the revenue or the profits to support the dividend. Or if you don't realize that the dividend is about to be cut or the company is about to go bankrupt or the company got a bad balance sheet and they got big debt obligations and then they got to do secondary offerings. It becomes a headache when that stock, they cut the dividend or they removed the dividend, a la Disney, removed the dividend a couple years ago. And then the stock was at 100 and something. Now it was barely scraping by 80. Those are the things that if you don't do the work, that's what happened. It becomes a headache. Uh, real estate, the same way. If you don't do the work and then you got a dud of a property, and a dud of a neighborhood that's in the war zone and nobody won't rent there. Or the screening process of getting tenants is crap. And then the tenants is always just messing up the property and all the revenue that you have coming in from rent 
is going towards the mortgage obligation and repairing the property, that becomes a headache. If you're buying properties that's over overpriced and then you got to rent them for a higher price because you didn't run the numbers, you didn't pencil or underwrite the deal correctly, and then you have to charge, you want to charge more rent than the area allows. It becomes a headache. It becomes you taking the money out of your pocket to pay for somebody else to live. If you're not doing the, all this stuff actively on time, on purpose, then you're stuck with the headache. You don't have passive income. You got a passive problem. And I'll leave it there because, but yeah, Cody Sanchez, got my own. You, you, you <laughs> spot on. Um, yeah, and especially how she says, how she explains what people are actually looking for when they want to become investors or entrepreneurs is it's owning your own time. Like when you do stuff for your own growth, for your own investments and businesses, it's different than it feels more productive than when you're just at a day job. Like, you know, you see people all the time take their day jobs extremely serious but it's like at the end of the day the only person you're assisting is the owner of that company because you could do the best job in the world and you're going to get the same paycheck that they promised you you know on your annual review or whatever like that's all you're going to get out of that company is a paycheck but if you are in control of your own operation and you own your own business or your own assets and your time it's up to you to make sure if that's going to scale or not, it's up to you to determine if it's going to go from, you know, a hundred thousand dollar company to a hundred million dollar company. It's up to you. And when it's in your hands, you know, you, you can decide what direction you want to go in with that company and what you want to do with your own life at that point. And it's owning your own time that I think is the, the, the biggest benefit that people are seeking uh, out of being entrepreneurs. I like what you said. I mean, I don't, I don't even think you know how profound that was that you said it. But oh. when you said you go to work at a corporation, you do the same redundant tasks, maybe you 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 will probably get middle management. The only thing you're gonna get, only paycheck you're gonna get is you know the annual raise. You may get a little bonus that's already predetermined by some matrix, and then you work to bring the company hundreds of millions of dollars. You get the little pebbles that you, the little pebbles that they promised you along the way. But the hundred million dollars, a lot of it's going to the owner that's sitting there doing, I mean, going to the owner that's up there. They're gonna receive huge benefits from the work that you're doing for that little raise. Now, if you flip that and you turn as much passion, as much aptitude and did it and did it actively to, in a business you own, then you are the person that's sitting at the top receiving those benefits. And then you're hiring people and then you can give them whatever race structure you want. But that's how it works. You will make exponentially more if you put in that same time effort. And of course, you know, there's not a channel telling people, oh, yeah, get passive income and leave your job. We want people to keep their job if they want it, but create avenues and passive income so they can have more, more abundant. Now, if by chance your passive income passes your regular nine to five income and you want to leave your job, more power to you. What we're trying to say is make that sacrifice and know that as much work you put in, if you're going to give a corporation eight hours and eight and you're easily replaceable, you should at least give yourself eight hours creating income and doing the work to make sure that your family, your organization is taken care of. Because you bet your ass that owner of the company that you work for is going to ensure that his family, his organization is taken care of. Exactly. That's all that, Alex. So that means saying, uh, if you like the video, guys, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.